Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to introduce conditional sentences type 1. Remember in type 0 conditional sentences, we talk about facts or general truths. But in type 1, we talk about possible results that are likely to happen. Okay. So let's look at when we should use conditional type 1. We use conditional sentence to talk about the result of doing something. For, type, for conditional sentence type 1, we talk about the possible results or something that is likely to happen. There are two parts in a conditional sentence, the if clause, the main clause. In the if clause, we talk about the situation or the action. For the main clause, we talk about the result. Let's look at the first example. If Natalie eats too much junk food, she will become fat. Becoming fat is very likely the result of eating too much junk food, and it is quite possible to happen, though it is not definite. So we use the first type conditional sentence here. For the second example, if you are late, I will not forgive you. The result, I will not forgive you, is very likely to happen if you are late. So we use type one conditional sentence here. Let's look at more examples. In the first picture, if I hurry, I will see my brother before he leaves. Again, the result is likely to happen, though there is still a chance that his brother might leave early. Let's look at the third example. If I borrow 10 pounds, we will go to the cinema. We will go to the movies. The result going to the movie is a possible result and a very likely reason for why I have to borrow 10 pounds. So we use conditional sentence type 1 here. For the last example, if you borrow 20 pounds, we will have a burger and chips. Again, buying a burger and chips is a possible result of borrowing 20 pounds, so we use type 1 conditional sentence. So you can see from all of these examples, we use the first conditional when we talk about future or present situations we believe are possible to happen or likely to happen. Now let's look at the structure of the first conditional sentence. So I have remind you again and again this type of conditional sentence is about the possibilities in the present or in the future. We use the simple present tense in the if clause, and we use the simple future tense in the main clause. So that is will plus verb. Let's look at the first example. If the weather is fine, we will have an outdoor activity. The result, we will have an outdoor activity, is something that is possible to happen because of the good weather. So we use the first conditional. You can see in the if clause, we use the present tense is. And in the main clause, we use simple future tense will have. In the second example, if he doesn't do his homework, the teacher will be angry. The result, the teacher will be angry, is very likely to happen because of the action if he doesn't do his homework. So we use the first conditional. We use the present tense doesn't do in the if clause and simple future tense will be in the main clause. A comma is needed after the if clause. 
Okay, so let's do some exercises on conditional sentence type 1. Remember, when we handle conditional sentence questions, the first thing we should do is decide which type of conditional sentence we should use. So let's look at question number 1. If kids do more exercise, they will lose weight. Okay, so losing weight is a very possible result of doing exercise. So we use type 1 conditional sentence here. So for the if clause, we simply use present tense. For the main clause, we use future tense, we'll lose. Okay, question number two. If you copy my homework, Miss Kwan will be angry. So Miss Kwan getting angry is a possible result of her students copying others' homework. So we use the type one conditional sentence, and we use the future tense in the main clause, and we use the simple present tense in the if clause. Question number three. Paul's girlfriend will scold him if he forgets her birthday. So here we put the main clause in the front, will scold, okay, and the if clause after the main clause. So it is okay to put the conditional sentence in this way. Okay, so of course, if a boyfriend forgets her girlfriend's birthday, the girlfriend is very likely to be unhappy and is very likely to scold him. So we use type one conditional sentence here. So for the main clause, we use future tense will, will scold. And for the if clause, we use present tense forgets. So remember, the main verb has to agree with the subject. So here, the subject is he. It is the third person singular. So generally, for the main verb, we have to add s. Question number four. If the weather is fine tomorrow, we will go to the park. Again, this is a very likely result of the weather being fine tomorrow. So we use type 1 conditional sentence. Number 5. If he tells jokes, I will laugh. Okay, so... I will laugh is the result of the boy telling a joke. So we use type 1 conditional sentence. Okay, so here is the conclusion of this lesson. So for the first type conditional sentence, okay, for the structure, for the if clause, we use simple present tense. For the main clause, we use simple future tense, will plus a verb. Okay, we use it to talk about possible results of something that is likely to happen in the present or in the future. And I hope after watching this video, you will have a better understanding of the first type conditional sentence. Thank you.